government for their Toastmasters, and thank you, Toastmaster Carly. It's interesting that today's theme is about love, because as a matter of fact, love can coexist with martial arts. Because martial arts is not about hurting somebody, it's really about protecting somebody, yourself and your loved ones. And as you guys can see, I'm dressed in the traditional gi because I practiced Taekwondo almost seven years ago when I was in Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm wearing a white belt, which is really the big news. That's because I lost my green belt, which I basically worked myself up to. I had to beat up a lot of 13-year-old kids to get to that point. Here's an example of how it looks like in a traditional martial arts competition. Martial arts is defined as a codified system and tradition of combat practices which are practiced for a variety of reasons. Self-defense, competition, physical health and fitness, entertainment, as well as mental, physical, and spiritual development. For people who have listened to my humorous speech contest, there was a situation with my son when he was four years old, when we had a disagreement or something, and he actually tried to bite me in the leg. <laughs> I knew he was reaching for my leg, and it, it was my martial arts training which helped me point my fingers and basically nudge him right here. So which basically prevented a bigger tragedy in terms of because if I had let him continue, I'd have been in a lot of pain and I'd have probably had to do something else to get him off and that would have hurt him real bad. So I was able to get off with very, very minimum pain from both sides. A little more pain on his side than mine, but that was really because he was trying to bite me. <laughs> It also helps in your physical fitness activities because martial arts practice is about a lot of grappling with your uh, with your co-workout uh, partners. So it actually helps you build a better fitness. And if you have a big tummy like me, it helps you lose that. <laughs> it's also uh, included in a lot of competitions, especially the Olympics, because uh, karate and judo, I believe, are some of the components of Olympics as well. It's used a lot in entertainment because people like Chuck Norris and Jackie Chan and uh, even Bruce Lee to a large extent have made it very popular because they starred in movies in, in, which basically involved martial arts in one shape or, or another. As a matter of fact, if you really practice martial arts, it's very, very sim similar to meditation, and it helps you focus your mind a lot more. When we say uh, martial arts, it's really originated almost 4,000 years ago, basically with the Buddhist monks who went from India to China. They got attacked on the way by a lot of uh, animals, and uh, the, the kings of those uh, kingdoms because they got uh, suspicious about the yellow robes. So it's just so interesting that martial arts was was invented by a religion which was founded on non-violence, which is Buddhism. Also, when we say martial arts is very broad, however, martial arts can be broken down into a lot of categories. There are groups which are just focused on strikes and those that are focused on grappling and those that cover both fields. For example, when you say strikes, there are arts like boxing which just focus on punching. There's kickboxing and taekwondo which focus on kicking. And the others using strikes are karate and Muay Thai. As you guys can see, uh, different countries around the world have taken martial arts and basically come up with their own version of it. 
And there are also other arts like Jiu-Jitsu, Aikido, and Hapkido. And in recent years, martial arts have become really powerful because of a sport called UFC. Does anybody here know about UFC? Awesome. Because sometimes I end up in social situations where people start talking about football. They have no clue what's going on in football. So I just change the topic to UFC because that's what I'm comfortable with. And that kind of gets me going in some, and building some good friendships. Also, research has shown that when somebody practices martial arts for a long period of time, then their body language is different from a regular person. So you are actually less likely to be attacked, and especially for the ladies. You know, if you're working at jobs which involve you getting out at nine o'clock in the night, this is something that you want to seriously think about because that, that can, just the way you walk will be different from an un, untrained professional, so you are less likely to be attacked. With that, um, I'd basically like to end this by saying this is, this is basically a, uh, an art that can actually help you protect yourself and your loved ones if the situation demands it. Hardly fit in anymore. Well, I did when I was a young man, but as an older guy, it's tough getting through all those rafters and, and everything. So I might have to hire someone. I've been debating. I've been doing it a little bit at a time, putting this special stuff on it. But make this list, and when you make the list, what you do is you just cross the things off as you're doing them, one at a time. At the end of the day, you can look. Now, my list, I never finish that page and I have a book with things in it. I never finish that page at the end of the day, but I have a few things done and I can look at it and go, ah, yeah, this is good. I could sit down and I could have a nice tea. I could have, you know, maybe a little snack or whatever and then I could go back to it. And that actually, if you start on a weekend, you often find that if you start one day, it can actually carry through to the next day. You might have finished everything that you've crossed off of previous day, but you could start something new the next day. Also what you might want to do is not kill yourself and really work all the way through the weekend or all the way through, through the week trying to get that stuff done. You are allowed to take breaks. Listen to yourself, listen to your body. As you get older, you will need more breaks and there are some days when I need a Anybody guess what I need? Yeah. I don't know. Nah, very good. So don't worry too much or try too hard. If you just shut up, I might let down my garden. Don't